okay so and in, in this part we're going to see how we could add um the ad sales ad stock ad medicine um step by step so today we're going to tackle the ad sales first then we see the way forward how we could add the sales what we need um to do and um what we need to pass through to um get everything done and everything perfect so within the ad sales um we're just going to see how we could um go by this but then i would like for us to do some restrictions first now when you take a good look at the system let me just close this for the login you could see that we specified um a connection and this s s s s d r is for the user and this sdr2 is for the admin user right good so in this case we are just gonna say if admin logs in what should be the things at the admin should see from the administration side and what should be the things the um, user should see from the user side from the user side so comparing it to this let's give these some um, some um, names right so this whole thing is gonna be these two strip menu one we're gonna change the name to um, uh, let's call this tool strip add right and this is customers right tool strip customers this is employers tool strip employees tool strip restore uh, that is that shouldn't be the restore but it should be report sorry and this should be backup restore so you say tool strip back up restore and we say this is setting so we say tool strip settings then the logout right so we say tool strip log out okay so whilst we are done within this um so you don't uh, if you are a user you don't have to view the stock so let's give this a name as well so this is going to be um tool strip that is reports okay so let's call this um tool strip strip reports one okay now when you are a user and you log in you should be able to see only add stock add um add sales and then the add stock and medicine will not be part of it you should be able to add only sales you can't get access to add stock and add medicine right so let's see from here this is add stock okay so you can add a stock if there is a new stock you can add it right and you can you know um add a medicine as well or should we restrict that i think we should restrict that so we're gonna say that um this ad stock we say um tool strip add stock and this is gonna be tool strip tool strip add medicine okay so customers you don't have to see customers when you are a user you don't have to see employees when you are a user okay so you can add a new customer but you can't add a new pharmacy right so we say tool strip add pharmacy so you can't if you are a user you can't add medicine employees you can't see them reports you can't see 
backup and restore so i think uh, you can see backup and restore you can't back up the database or let's say um is it quite advisable to back up the database the settings you can see all right so let's see how we could restrict this now from the user section let's create a private sub and let's call this so private sub let's call this user restriction right oh come on okay so we have the user restriction and then we have um, private sub let's call this um, admin restriction okay so we just have to say that um the frm home page dot um that is tool strip um for the user uh, we will take um add medicine dot visible to false and we will say that f so we will say let's do this with frm login so we say dot um tool strip add medicine equals um dot visible equals false then we say dot tool strip add stock dot visible equals false so we say dot tool strip backup or restore database so you can't backup and restore database dot visible equals false say dot tool strip employees dot visible equals to false then we say dot tool strip reports dot visible equals to false so dot tool strip reports one dot visible equals to false so we say dot tool strip um what else do we have again okay think um that is all if a user logs in it should restrict so let's save this and let's see so uh, let's go back to our project and let's start from the login then let's see if a user logs in with a user credentials it should be able to restrict the person okay okay so let's see we didn't add the function so we just have to add user restrictions if it is user login successful me dot hide then this happens right so me dot hide then this happens the user restriction happens then let's see so we add the admin admin okay so the user restrictions is gone so we can add so we don't have to add pharmacy right so the customers just have to add importer or add a new customer right so we just say add customer not importer but rather add customer you can't add pharmacy so you rather have access to add importer so let's say dot tool strip add pharmacy dot visible equals to false um then let's go back and then let's say the importer is not going to be importer but add customer okay now let's say the whole thing and let's see okay really why that is the user restriction so we have the user restriction here uh, oh okay 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 so that is it let's say user user should be able to log in wow 
why is it not working use our restriction okay let's rebuild the solution let's see okay really you've got to be kidding me okay let's copy this with um, okay let's copy this let's cut this and let's bring this here let's try that one and let's see think it should be working because it worked previously wow so let's say logged in successfully um, as user So this is the administration dashboard. Oh, okay. So I'm working within the admin, right? Oh, come on. You got to be kidding me. No, this is the user. Wow. This is the administration, right? And this is the user. So logged in as user. So why is it not working? I think, I don't know. Login successful. Wow, wow, wow. Okay. Okay, so let's try this. I think it should work from your end instead of this restriction let's paste this here and let's see really okay let's see the table the name of the table this is tbl users and this is tbl so that is cmd2 at a cmd2 the cmd tool is the the cmd2 is the users and the cmd is the es that is the reason why so i'm using this as cmd so let's use the cmd2 guys sorry i'm very sorry so we we use two and one here that is the reason why i am facing that challenge come on yes that is it so you can't get access to sorry guys i think um hmm. so let's delete this so let's delete this and let's bring this user restriction back to where it was as admin so let's try that once again so when we log in as admin and then admin we can now log in see everything log in as admin see everything now let's see when we log in as user it's just gonna pop up user okay so this is it everything is working perfectly fine all right so this is how to um, you know restrict um, a user from getting um, access to some functionalities in um, your pharmacy management system